What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this. Vada fly, vada fly. Let me talk to you too, Sergeant Coward. You a coward too. You a coward. Jay Black a coward. Ian Anwar a coward. Y'all some cowards. You in the tournament. You facing off against me. First round. You got the JC effect now. You got the JC effect now. You ain't got nothing to say. You acting like you don't see this. You acting like you don't acknowledge this. Then why you sign up for it then? Why you agree to it then? You know what's you know what's you know what I don't like about these clowns, man? Y'all always, as media, talk about what's wrong with battle rap. How could it be better? The face-offs could have been this and that. They were trash face-offs. And how if you was in position, you would have made it better. And how it's supposed to go. Well, here you is. You signed up for it. What's up? Why you not saying nothing? Why you not firing away? Huh? Explain that. Why you not firing away? Because I ain't going to stop, bro, until you lose. I'm getting you up out of here. I said it. I meant it. And that's what it is. Y'all know what this cow was trying to do? Do y'all know what this cow was trying to do? He gonna try to be quiet until he see the results. Then he gonna try to say something after he see the results. I know your kind. Because you already did that before, dude. You are a snake. You are a snake. And I can't wait to get you up out of here, dog. You a snake. Yeah, you will. You did that before. Y'all y'all remember what this cow would did? Do y'all remember what this cow would did? Let me remind the people of what this coward did because I see him trying to do it again. T-Rex was facing off against Tay Rock. And y'all all know Tay Rock and them kicked him out of the game, gave him the boot. Then he wanted to be a part of the gang again. Did everything in his power to be a part of the gang again. Tay Rock let him back in the group. He gave Tay Rock a pink rice sweater say that's a lie a pink rice sweater talk to me nice and put it in rice right he gave him one of them sweaters but he gonna say on his internet on his blog and he did a blog and he was talking about yeah you know i'm taking up all bets on rock and t-rex you know who wants some i got rock over rex i heard that I heard Rex rounds. I say, hey, I'll take him up on that bet. Because Rex solid. It round nice. And Rock going to have to be solid from beginning to end to beat him. I said, hey, I did a blog. I'll take you up on that. I'll take you up on that. What's up? He never responded. He never answered. He never agreed. Then when the battle was over and people were saying... Rock won the battle. Mm -hmm. Then he gonna do a blog. Where my money at? Where my money? I said I'm gonna where my two hundred dollars. I said I'm gonna put up two hundred dollars. Hey y'all, he owed me two hundred dollars. Y'all go to his channel and tell him to give me my money. <laughs> give you your money, man. You never accepted that bet. You never agreed to the bet, even though. Even though Rock didn't, even though Rock didn't win, you never accepted. You never agreed to the bet. You never publicly accepted it so that people could know that it was a real bet. You stayed quiet. And when you thought the majority of the people had Rock winning, you tried to say something to make it seem like you won money. And what's sad about the people was... He really, really wanted the money and was really, really saying that I owed him $200. And we're really, really trying to say if I don't pay him $200 that I ain't a genuine stand-up dude for not giving him the $200 bet that we had. That's what he was saying and really was meaning that. That pissed me off because I knew that if the majority of the people would have said Rex won, you know, he'd have been like, I ain't never accepted that bet. I never agreed to that bet. I didn't even answer it. I didn't even address it. How do I owe him $200? But I'm the type of person who wouldn't even say that because I know he didn't accept it. Neither did he address it. But when he thought he won, he went publicly saying and addressing 
that I owed him $200 because we had a bet that he never agreed to and never accepted. He trying to do the same thing right here, y'all. He's so scary. He don't know if he going to beat me. So he want to be quiet and silent about it. But if it comes out that he do beat me, then he want to speak and act like he always knew it all along. Cowards. These niggas so petty. They, they so, they so, they so petty. It ain't even for, this ain't even for nothing. That's just, look, that's entertainment for y'all. That's entertainment for y'all. Shouts out to Black Compass who playing the game, right? Shouts out to DME Detroit who playing the game, right? Most of these dudes so petty, it ain't even fun. I, look, I ain't, I can't really call what the other people doing because I don't really know them or really watching. That's no disrespect to them. I just don't know what they doing because I ain't really in a circuit like that. But shouts out to DME Detroit, who I see playing the game, right? Shouts out to Black Compass, who I see playing the game, right? You know, me, myself, who playing the game, right, the way it's supposed to go. But... Some of these dudes so 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 lame and flaky. It ain't even funny, man. That's all for entertainment, and they acting like this really, really, really some type of major thing that if they lose, that this is going to destroy my stock. This is going to hurt my channel. People not going to watch me. My subscribers going to fall. My views going to fall. You dudes is horrible. Why even agree to it then? Why even agree? Don't what part of battle? Rap media, don't you get battle rap media coveraging? That's what we supposed to be doing. If you ain't never wanted to do it, now you really should want to do it because you were part of the tournament for it. Ooh, man, you do is horrible. Man, you do is horrible. I could just tell who y'all friends and girlfriends is by how y'all act, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. But that's why people crazy about me so much. That's why they like rocking with me so much. I don't, I, I don't get that, man. I don't, man, I'm trying to tell you. I don't deal with, I don't deal with fake people, man. I'm sorry. I, it, it's hard for me to deal with fake. We just don't get along. We just don't get along. It may start out, you may appear to be genuine, but then there's one thing about it. You can't, you can only fake for so long. You can only fake for so long, man. You're a coward, man. You're scared. You better not open your mouth. If, if it so happened that you do pass and move on, you better not open your mouth. How you got bloggers in a tournament, but they quiet. The media, the media is quiet for real. And you in the tournament. Man, get up out of here. No. No, 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 no. Get up out of here. Y'all cowards. Straight up cowards. That's why y'all draw the same surroundings. You draw the same surroundings. That's all it is, man. These dudes horrible, man. You sitting up there trying to act like you don't see what's going on. Let's just keep it real. This first round, the biggest two matchups is me and you and Hip Hop is Real and, not Hip Hop is Real, Restore Order and Black Compass. Them the biggest two matchups right now. In the first round, everybody know that. Me and you the biggest one. You think I'm finna be quiet and make this silent? No, guess again, Rice Head. I'm coming at you, dog. I'm coming at you. You lucky my daughter right here, cause I really want to roast you, dog. I'm roasting you later on. I'm roasting you later on. I'm getting you, dude. You ain't getting away. I'm getting you. I'm get. Ooh, I'm getting you. And you know what? I'm covering this whole thing. I don't care if I do lose. I'm still covering it. Guess why? Cause I'm the media. I'm battle rap media, man. I'm a. I'm a do what y'all fell in. That's why people like me. I'm a do the thing y'all fell in. Yeah, I cover the traffic. I cover the streets. I cover the dirt. I met you, dog. We losing this. Thank, thank, thank Pete for the alley hoop. Let me put him out of his misery. Let me get him out of here first. 
Yeah, I'm doing this for the whole battle rap community. This one right here. This, getting you out of here, we come down to two things, Butterfly. Let me tell you what we come down to. We come down to two things. And this is why I'm better than you. Me and you come down to Emerson Kennedy versus Glue Easy and Mike P versus Ryder. This is what we come down to. You chose Emerson Kennedy. I chose Glue Easy. Why did I choose Emerson uh, Kennedy to lose over Glue Easy? Let me tell you why. Emerson Kennedy is boring and it takes time for him to cook. We in a two minute round battle, two minutes around, where well, you got to come out the gate cooking. He don't do that. I could definitely get that from Glue Easy. Can't get that from Emerson Kennedy. And again, that's no disrespect to Emerson Kennedy, but that pro-militant knowledge rapping stuff that's not going to see him through this tournament we need quick fast explosive back-to-back -back bars in a two-minute round i don't think he's gonna get that from emerson kennedy nope i'm sorry not that quick glue gonna come out blazing from the top he definitely when he locked in Got a lot to say. He very uh, uh, entertaining when he locked in. And the judges would be more into what he got to say than what Emerson Kennedy got to say. I definitely believe that. So if he can get through his three rounds without choking, he will clearly be Emerson Kennedy. I'm sorry. Let's get to Mike P. Mike P versus Ryder. The reason why I chose Ryder over Mike P is because of this. Mike P is nothing but a Goonies reject. Let's keep it real. Who don't know that? Everybody know that. When Mike P was rapping and doing that, he was nothing but a Goonies reject. He always It's like he always wanted to be a part of the Goonies, that he just copied their whole swag. That's a fact. Because of that... That's not only one of the reasons why I chose Ryder. I also chose Ryder because Ryder, for the most part, have a successful, good record. And he's been in the dungeon for so long, this is going to be his breakout battle. It's going to be his breakout moments in this tournament. Mike P., I don't believe he's going to be as hungry, ambitious as Ryder is. And because of that, I refuse to believe he's going to give his all like he can. Ryder need this. This tournament means everything to Ryder. Because he don't get called as often as he should get called. He always felt that the URL and them played him because of how good he was and successful he was and winning battles and barely losing. That he wasn't getting the right calls. Now he given the opportunity to stand on his own. And he in the first round. Nobody wants to get put out in the first round. I believe his hunger. His ambition. He have a lot to prove. That he's going to be better than Mike P. That's when I'm going to kill you. Those two picks right there are going to put you out of your misery. Because you don't think like that. You don't think like that. But every round is something different. You out of here, bro. Make no mistake about it. You out of here. I got you. You're going to want to be out of here. When I'm done with you, you're going to want to be out of this tournament. I ain't finna play with you. Don't you ever, ever be masked up against me. Ever. Hold on, wait. Ain't you the same dude that tried to steal the champion show? Wait. Ain't you the same dude that got kicked out the URL? Ain't you the same dude that got kicked out of the game? Ain't you the same dude that got kicked out the army? No, you shot yourself to get out of the army. You are a loser. You know that L you got that you be trying to... Ooh, hold this L. You eat it. You need to eat that damn thing. Eat it. Eat that L. 
Eat it till it form an L shape in your stomach. Eat it. Because you are a loser. Eat that L. Because I'm telling you, brother, you got a lot to learn. You got a lot to learn. When you talking about coming up against me, I'm going to make you pay for it. Vada fly. Stealing from Street Fighter. You a thief. You got some John John in you too. Your boy stole my daughter's name. Why would you bring that man on your show talking about, oh, this is the showstopper. What? Showstopper? This girl been a showstopper for eight years. Now this man come out of nowhere. Meet the showstopper, y'all. After you already see my daughter been known as the showstopper ever since I've been here on, on the internet. So you bring in another showstopper like you. No. No, 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 no. Stole my daughter's name. Man, I'm mad. I'm mad at you, dog. What type of dude is you? Anyway, man. I'm getting you up out of here. I can't wait to get you out of here. I'm, ooh, I can't wait. Ooh, you know what? Join me on my Patreon, y'all. I'm roasting the hell out of him. I'm going to get my daughter up out of here. I'm roasting the hell out of you. I'm, I'm going to roast the hell out of you on my Patreon. As soon as I get my daughter, I'm getting you, dog. Watch this.